Hi, good people. It's Sherry. Um, I would like to, uh, I have some free and valuable information for you as usual. And this time I would like to speak with you about a very important subject. And it is called EEG heterodyning, also known as cloning. And I would like to talk with you about what this actually is briefly. Pretty simple in, once you put it into layman's terms. And then I would like to speak about how this capability is being criminalized and people the, from the general population are being um, broadcasted into after having their brain signature heterodyned or cloned. Okay, that's what I'm going to talk about. Cloning, the mystery behind it. Um, it's pretty simple. Well, I'll break it down. Okay, so welcome. Nice to see everybody. Okay, um, if you have seen some of my old videos, um, you might want to refresh because some of that pertains, some of this kind of um, builds off of that information. But if not, that's fine. It's simple to understand. I'll break it down again. Um, okay, so EEG heterodyning. Okay, so EEG stands for, it's an acronym, electro as in electricity, encephalo, as in head, gram, a form of measuring. So electroencephalogram, heterodyning, EEG, okay? Um, here's what an EEG traditionally looks like, okay? This is the, uh, the electrodes that get hooked up to the patient or client, and... Um, and yeah, it uh, kind of looks, reminds me of like one of those frosting kit, you know, those frosting caps from the, <laughs> the 80s and 90s when you would frost your hair or highlight it and then you would use these caps and pull your hair through. But it's not. <laughs> it looks like that though, right? For all of you who know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, this is an, an electroencephalogram, okay? So this is the headset, the electrodes, and it's attached to, you know, they're hooked up they sync with the monitor, and then the monitor reads out the different brainwave activity in a human, right? In a person. Well, in an animal, too. Okay, and so you've seen these also. They have them for your heart. They're called EKGs. So electro, there's the electricity word again. Um, cardiogram, that's for the heart. Okay, and same thing. They hook up electrodes in the certain spots so that they can um, read out the, the waves from the electricity produced in the heart. Same thing with the brain. Electricity. Um, this concept of EEG cloning, heterodyning, is going to be very much based upon um, the fact that there's electricity in the body. The body is electrical chemical, correct? Okay, so, but let's focus on the EEG first. So EEG, electroencephalogram, they have the ability to read different brain waves from the brain, and um, because when every time you think a thought, and feel an emotion, mad, sad, glad, the whole spectrum. It gives off what's called an electromagnetic frequency, okay? EMF. This is a word you want to get familiar with, okay? Um, because the direction that we're going here in the 21st century with technology, everything is really based off of EMFs, or a lot is based off of EMFs. Again, that stands for electromagnetic frequency. The whole earth is surrounded by an electromagnetic field, okay? Like I was saying with the human brain too, every time you think a thought, feel an emotion, doesn't matter, mad, sad, glad, the whole spectrum. Every time you think a thought from big to little, you know, it doesn't matter if you're solving an equation or if you're thinking of your grocery list, you know? your to-do list, whatever it is, it's going to, in the inner workings of the brain, with the electricity, it's going, which looks something like this on a microscopic level, right? You think, oh, I'm going to, you know, I want ice cream. There's this activity going on in your brain. Simple thought, but there's a lot to it, right? Because we're so complex, okay? So those are the neurons and they have pathways in the brain. So every time you think a thought or feel an emotion, these things are firing and communicating, okay? So, and when they are, it gets off an electromagnetic frequency, an EMF. Okay, what does this have to do with cloning? Okay, so you know what EEG means. You, you got the picture, okay? You know on a grander scale that it means it's able to read your 
thoughts, and emotions. Mm -hmm. There's, I did a whole video on this. Um, really don't have time to backtrack, but if you want to double check those facts, I suggest you refer to the research done in the 1970s by Dr. Persinger and Dr. Robert G. Malik. And that's when um, mind reading capabilities were, were um, pioneered. You know, well, they were working on it long before then, but that's when advances were really made as far as EEGs. Okay, another important thing about EEG, you've seen a picture, right, with the with the standard one, okay? This is one you would get if you know it, you're getting it. <laughs> well, you know, this one you would see at the hospital. Now, this can also be done remotely, okay, meaning um, they don't need to have, you don't need to have this, this headgear on necessarily to, um, you know, to have your EEG read out, okay, because... It's able to be done remotely, like many things, right? Just like with TVs, back in the 70s, we had to have remotes to change the channels. Remember that? And then the cable box, it was like A or B, and you had to go and switch it. Okay? No more, right? After the late 80s, early 90s, we started getting the remote controls, and then we could, you know, control it. You know, everything became remote control cars, right? So many things. Same thing with these EEGs. They're able to be done remotely, which is good. Um, it also gives an, or, an to me, an aura of mystery because then, well, who has, you know, who's doing these EEGs remotely, you know? Am I having one done right now <laughs> without my knowledge or consent? You know, who knows? But um, that's what we're, that, you know, so EEG cloning, e, or sorry, EEG heterodyning. You know what EEG means? Heterodyning. That's uh, two words, hetero, which means opposite, right? Like heterosexual, you like people of the opposite sex, okay, versus homo, you would like people of the same sex. Okay, so heterodyning, dining means power, as in like dynasty, okay? So powerful opposite, opposite what? Brain signals, okay? Again, we're talking about the brain, okay? This is what the brain looks, the organ, okay? But without all the electrical activity, you know, this is just the organ, okay? But to feel emotions, to think thoughts, our personality that's housed in the brain, okay, that looks more, we have to think of that on an electrical chemical scale, okay? So, yes, there's the brain, but the brain functions, you know, with electric electricity and chemicals so the brain can send and receive signals okay because remember each thought each emotion is an emf every thought every emotion there's not ever one that is not um an emf okay so um and thoughts and emotions we know lead to behaviors that's also important. Okay, so EEG heterodyning to power to mix opposite, you know, two opposite signals in the brain to produce to alter behaviors and bodily movements. Well, how is that? Okay, well, the brain, each different part of the brain controls different functions. Your speech. Your movements, right? You're, every time you cough, <laughs> it's a small movement, but there's it's intricate in the fact that there is different muscles and everything that play a part in doing that. Same thing with speaking. Seems easy, but your tongue has to go in certain places. The the you know the muscles in your throat have to move in sync in order to you know your diaphragm has to push that air out. There's a lot of different steps and body parts tendons and muscles, organs involved in just speech, but we do it so effortlessly, we don't think about it, you know, the play-by-play -play of it. Excuse me, I have a piece of hair going on here. Um, so yeah, so with the, <laughs> let me lose my train of thought here. Um, so the brain, each part of the brain is responsible for controlling different things. Okay, I'll give you a little, here's a little, um, Di diagram okay so certain parts of your brain control your hearing okay you don't necessarily hear out of your ears you hear out of an area in your brain okay so even if your ears were removed god forbid they're chopped off or something or you lose one right or you pierce it all up and you got to get rid of it just kidding you know but i'm just saying you hear from your audio cortex inside your brain 
okay, inside your brain. On this chart, it's lit up yellow, okay, it's colored yellow. That's a representation, or excuse me, it's lit up blue, okay, right, the, more by the ear, okay, that area, that region of the brain, okay, which correlates. Also, visual. You don't necessarily see through your eyes. You do, but um, you actually see through the visual cortex in your brain. And I point to the back because even though your eyes are in the front, the visual cortex center is in the back. Okay, like in this diagram here, the back, the purple. That's your visual cortex. Okay, that's why sometimes if you get hit on the back of your head, you see stars. Ugh. That's because um, your visual cortex. Okay, so what this this just means all these different things also your motor you know the part that controls your 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 body to move everything is a movement right you know to to cough to blink to to brush your teeth to eat food you know these are all movements that you know we don't think about it cuz it's so effortless okay and reason I'm explaining this is because with EEGs electroencephalograms heterodyning when you're mixing signals you're able to affect functions in the brain because it's a signal when you think a thought or think an emotion or even make a movement a signal an evoked potential electrical signal has to come from the brain to the muscles to trigger them like let's say speech okay you have to, a certain you know part in the brain has to tell the muscles like hey we're gonna do this you're gonna lift up tongue you're gonna lift up teeth you're gonna go back a little you know um it's it's all done instantaneously, but it's signals. So that's why when you see people have strokes, okay, um, they'll have, you know, some paralysis, right? So, like, they won't be able to move one side of their, you know, body for whatever, you know, whatever part. And the body part will still be there. Like, they didn't lose a leg, per se. They didn't lose an arm. They still have it, but they just can't use it. Why? Because the signal from the brain to the muscle is compromised, Okay, so that's the connection I'm trying to make here is that the brain has to send the signal for all motor movement. Okay, so again, we're talking about EEG cloning. Why is this important? Well, because when you're mixing signals, those are the things that signals control. So I want you to understand that what signals means. It's a big thing. It's us. It controls your thoughts and your body movement. Without thoughts, without movement, what are we? I don't know, but uh, that's EEG heterodyning. Now, the word cloning, okay, I want you to, cloning sounds very heavy, very intense, very sci-fi, right? Like cloning, whoa, you know, you start thinking, you start thinking real big, and we want to keep this simple, okay? So cloning is another word for to replicate, replication, duplicate, make a copy, same meanings, different words. So when you think of cloning, maybe think of it just like in those simpler terms, something that you're more familiar with, because it's the same thing. To clone something is to make a copy, right? Or to duplicate or to replicate. So in the case of EEG heterodyning, what are they making a copy of? What's being copied? This is important. What's being copied is your very own brain signature. It's called the brain signature. Yes, It'd be like Oprah, you got one and you got one and I got one. They got one and she got one. And he got we all have them. <laughs> They're like fingerprints, okay? And you know how fingerprints are unique to the person, okay? We all have our own unique set of fingerprints. Same thing with our brain signatures. We each have our own individual uh, brain signature, okay? And what that means Okay, your brain signature is what makes you you. Okay, again, we're going to refer to this chart. The function, the brain's functions, you know, you're walking, you're talking, your motor movements, your vision, your audio, every, your touch, your sense of touch, everything. Okay, the way you, you put things together, you know, the way you organize things. You know, some people are really good at organizing, some people medium. I mean, we all can do it. But, you know, those different levels of skills that everybody has, you know, some people are really good at some things. Like, you know, some you ever see some people that are really good at sports, like their visual spatial skills are on point. You know, they can dance real good and they can move, you know, do flips and stuff. You're like, wow, you're really athletic. That part of their brain is like high, more 
<laughs> how am I trying to say? Better developed than another person, and it doesn't make them better or worse. It just is, and then you'll find some people that are better at some skills. You know, they can take something and just write it out and make it make sense. You know, or some people can explain stuff out loud verbally and make it make sense and make it flow and not have it all choppy sometimes like mine is. You know, great eloquent speakers. I'm okay. You know, I'm okay, but you know what I'm saying. The brain controls all these wonderful aspects. Okay. So when, and these too, this is another chart. This is one I, I like, you know, this is about the brain. So it just breaks it down. It's showing, you know, this part affects movement. This is kind of in the uh, front, right? This is the brain stem. This is in the back. Okay. This is the movement in the front. This is touch at the top. Taste, hearing right there, right where the, you know, you see it? Vision in the back, the occipital uh, lobe. And, uh, you know, memory processing, that's kind of lower, right? So all this movement coordination you see in the brainstem, heart rate and breathing. That's why if you ever, something happens to that. <laughs> okay, you understand. I, I work in the medical field, so you kind of learn that um, when you're taking anatomy and physiology. But everybody kind of knows that. So again, what does cloning mean? What does this mean? This means that your brain signature that controls all of this, all these functions, not to mention your personality, your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams, what makes you happy, what gives you joy, what makes you sad, what makes you motivated, <coughs> excuse me, what makes you motivated, what, <coughs> maybe somebody's got me <laughs> Maybe I'm cloned right now and somebody's like pushing my little cough reflex. <coughs> I digress. But everything that makes you, you, you and you and you and me and all of us, okay? What makes us, us, that is housed in here. Nowhere else. It's not here. 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 <laughs> it's not in your feet. It's here. This is valuable. Highly valuable. It's what makes us us, different from each other person. It's us. Okay? So the brain signature, remember this word, can be cloned. Take a picture of it, right? It's like a little computer, right? This whole thing is a computer processing center. That's your Intel processor. And um, what can happen is with advanced satellite-based technology, people can actually get an imprint of your, it's called a brain signature. Okay. Now, so what, what does that mean? Your brain's still there, right? Yeah. It's, it's still, it's still on your shoulders. Your head's still there. Your brain's still inside of there. You still have your original, right? Your original <coughs> brain signature. You're born with it, but someone can actually make a copy of the brain signature, you know, you make a copy, just like if you write a paper, right? And you, the paper saved on your device, but you can actually like stick a flash drive in there and then you can save that on the flash drive. Then you take the flash drive out, you still have the original, but now you have a copy on the flash drive. Okay, so where am I going with this? EEG heterodyning, right? So electroencephalogram, measuring your evoked potentials, measuring your brain waves, which brain waves equal thoughts and emotions, okay? understand what I just said. I'm, I'm not explaining as I'm saying it, but I'm hoping that you get it. I told you once. I mentioned it once. Okay. Don't want to, I want to live. <laughs> so the information I'm sharing is um, pretty important. So I want to make sure that you understand it without me having to say too much because I've said it in my other videos already and I've said it once. So I don't want to keep on, you know, um, you have to understand that this information again is very important and I need to, um, I want to help you and give it to you so that you have it, but I also want to live. So please get it the first time. You know, if you find yourself like, what is she talking about? Well, then I don't know what to tell you. It's free, valuable information. It's about EEG cloning, brain signatures. Do you have a brain? Yep, you do. That means you have a brain signature. That means it can be cloned. Okay, so what happens when it gets cloned? Glad you asked. All right, what happens with it? Somebody took a picture of your brain, you know? They took a picture of your soul. <laughs> now they got it. You know, what do they do? They got it on a flash drive? I don't know, maybe. But I, I don't know exactly how, the, you know, where they house it or whatnot. But a little bit, though, I can tell you what can be done with it. 
once your brain signature is cloned, okay, it can be put on a website, uh, usually the dark web, I'm going to say. That's where a lot of, don't ever go on there, I suggest. Most pe normal people, uh, I say normal loosely, but most people that are not depraved or are looking for um, to do depraved things, don't really go on the dark web. Um, never been on there, but I, you know, it's, it's for a lot of depravity. Okay. Can we leave it at that? You understand? Okay. Just like there's some places you don't frequent or there's, you know, you just know not to go there, right? The badlands don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. But what is there is illegally bought and sold and traded, um, brain signatures that were cloned from people. How do they get them? Well, for one thing, one way is MRIs. You go and get an MRI, that means, I mean, they're taking a picture of your brain in there. So I'm sure your brain signature is available. Well, what happens? Now it's there. They can access it. And, you know, it can be put on a dark web website for people to access. Okay, well, what do they do with it once they have it? What do they do? It's just a brain signature, right? Okay, right. But with this brain signature, remember, the brain operates on frequencies electromagnetic frequency so does the body okay guess what else does the whole environment this broadcasts electromagnetic frequency internet electromagnetic frequency phone electromagnetic frequency tv broadcast electromagnetic frequency it's a wave right broadcasting wave those are actually verbs right to broadcast, to radiate a frequency. TV, internet, radio, phones, devices, tablets, everything, okay, is on a frequency broadcast. Our whole environment, the whole earth is surrounded by an electromagnetic field, okay? The satellites, that's based off of electromagnetivity as well. What does that mean? That means that once your brain, your brain operates on a frequency, they made a copy of it, they can broadcast signals. They don't need a, your brain to be cloned but to do this, but you can broadcast signals, frequencies, into the brain's natural frequencies. You can do this to... I mean, again, I want to live... <laughs> living is important to me. I like living. Do you like living? I like living. Okay. Um, I've already mentioned this in another video, so I feel like I've kind of put myself out there already. Um, you can just imagine if the brain runs off of frequencies and you have a frequency machine to send in other frequencies, then what do you think you can do with those frequencies? Just critically thinking. What do you think you can do? You can override those frequencies. The original brain frequencies. What are frequencies? Every thought, every emotion is a frequency. You understand? Okay. So, um, since that can all be broad, signals can be broadcasted into the brain to override the brain's natural frequencies with other frequencies. What are the frequencies? What are they? Whatever the sender wants them to be. Whatever the sender wants them to be and knows how to imitate. So here we go with cloning. Where does this, you know, EEG heterodyning cloning. Once a copy of your brain signature is out and it's put on, say, there's a website dark, on the dark web, okay? It has a list of all people's brain signatures. Okay, what they can do with that is you can do virtual reality things. Let's just say sex, okay? You can do virtual reality sex if you have access to your brain signature and the person you want to um, have a sexual relationship with, okay? Yeah, this is a thing now. This is a thing. And there's equipment that you can buy, you know, headset. So I've heard. And it makes sense because that's how you would do it, right? And goggles and, you know, clamps and everything that you can put on your body. And you and another person can broadcast into each other signals using your brain signatures, right? It's like your login code. Here I'm logging in. Are you logging in? Of course you use a computer to facilitate it, 
But, you know, it's like cyber sex, but like the 2019 version, okay? Because, remember, each body movement is a frequency. So, they can touch your body. Use their frequency to touch your body. How? Well, they can do brain surgery um, without touching your scalp or without making an incision. Here we have it at our local hospital. You guys probably do too. So the surgeon, the neurosurgeon is in one room with his computer and a mouse, and you're in the other room with a transducer on your head, and they've taken all the um, mathematical equations, and they can um, broadcast the frequency, ultrasound frequency into you, sound wave, and it will remove the tumors. Yes, without ever cutting into your head. No scalpel, no knife ever touches your head, okay? that's be, It was all because of a frequency broadcasted in, okay? You get it? Because the medical field right now, we're, we're stepping away from seeing as the body, we're treating it, you know, as a um, chemical, right? So what I mean by that is like, uh, when you have, when you take medicines, pharmaceuticals, okay, usually they're acting on your chemicals, right? Like say for um, mental health things, depression, anxiety, usually that works by either stimulating a chemical, right? For your brain to release or inhibiting a chemical, right? It's just stopping or starting or a gland. Same thing with insulin, right? Um, the pa Some people's pancreas doesn't produ produce enough insulin. So what do they do? They give you insulin, right, which is a hormone, to to um, to help absorb the sugar in your body, or they can do it another way. They can use a chemical drug to make your um, gland stimulate more insulin. Again, it's with the chemicals, right? It's acting on the chemicals and the hormones. That is one way to do medicine. Now, remember I told you in the very beginning, your brain is, and body is electrical and chemical. That's why the names, they're right in the names, EEG, electroencephalogram okay electricity same thing with your heart electrocardiogram because the body is very much electric as well as chemical okay so science now in the science fields they're learning to treat the body just like those brain surgeries they're learning to do it now with frequencies not just chemicals that's more of the older way now what you like the new surgeries you don't even have to cut into anybody anymore when you can just beam the frequency in there. Okay? Same thing with um, medication. You could actually stimulate the pancreas with a frequency to make it produce insulin. Things like that. I won't touch too much on it because I'd have to do more research. But in general, that's my point is the medical field, the science fields are really focusing on harnessing the human body and brain's electricity. And they have been for years, you know, electrical shock therapy, a lot of um, mind control and creating alter personalities. That's done with electricity, um, using shocks, bright lights. Why is that? Because the brain is electrical chemical. So, and the brain also has the ability to com compartmentalize and um, suppress and what is the word disassociate okay during trauma so it's a whole process though and it's been studied it's been studied it's an art okay it's a, it's a black art uh, but that that's a different video altogether I think I've done a video on that I can do another one you guys want to learn about multiple personalities and disassociation it's a real thing I used to not believe in it I thought okay come on but actually it is, it is, and it has to be done in a certain way, and it does, it harnesses the power of the electricity in the brain to do so, okay, so this is very important, you know that song, I don't know if you guys know that old, that old Puff, Puffy song, fact, when he first, you know, when he was first got famous, and it all about the Benjamins, baby, it's all about the Benjamin, right, that was, that was like our high school little anthem song, right, none of us had Benjamins, I don't know why, we, <laughs> we wanted them, <laughs> We didn't have any, but the song was cool. You know, everybody loved Puffy. He was a hit maker. You know, it still is. But remember that song. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. But no, it's all about the electricity, baby. It's all about the electricity. That's where the brain function lies. That's where the body function lies. And that is how our environment is made. Okay? Electromagnetic. The whole earth is surrounded by it. Okay. EEG heterodyning slash cloning. So virtual sex can be done again with this, um, with your brain signature, right? And it can be done consensually, right? You can sign yourself up, get your little, you know, brain signature, 
get access to it, log in with your husband or, you know, um, you know, married couples. And all right, you know, maybe a husband had a stroke, can't, um, you know, a body part won't move and stuff anymore. Well, guess what? Thanks to the advances of modern day science, you can still stimulate those body parts remotely with EEGs sending signals from the brain to the body part. And I don't want to get graphic, okay, you guys? You come on, roll with me now. You know, body parts. Everything has a nerve and a, a nerve ending and can be stimulated, right? Everything. Yeah, including up to and including your genitalia. All right. So in cases of, you know, like I said, if a husband has a stroke or a wife has a stroke, it's to be a good, great thing, right? It's a great tool. And like every tool, it can be weaponized, okay, when it's in the wrong hands. So what's happening is people's brain signatures are being illegally cloned, put on these pervert dark dark web sites, and sold and traded like cards, like baseball cards, okay, to different people. What do they do when they get them? I've, rumor has it, and, um, you know, uh, not just rumor, but it's been, it's been talked about, and when this is a possibility, you know, this is the same way it's done consensually, it can be done non-consensually. So you and your husband can sign up to do it and that'd be consensual, right? But also, somebody could get your brain signature, clone it, put you on a dark website, and then broadcast you, have you open for broadcast to receive it and to receive other people, strangers, broadcasting into you. Okay? I want to say that again for emphasis. Right? The brain is like um, a big old antenna. Doo -doo 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 -doo, right? It's constantly, it's receiving information. Okay? Electromagnetic frequencies. It's receiving. Okay? And it's like kind of like your phone. You know how sometimes you look at your phone and it's like, okay, searching for, or trying to sync. And you're like, whoa, don't sync with anybody. What are you doing? Don't sync. You know, I don't want anybody to have access to my phone. The brain is also like that. There's no firewall. Or a Chinese firewall. What do they call that? Chinese firewalls or what? <laughs> I don't know. But the brain has none. Because we're not built to have to be able... You know, we're when we're built by our true God, we're built on the honor system. Hey, you're not going to do that. Okay, I won't. Thanks. Unfortunately, we live in a world where everybody does not honor that honor system. We live in a world where people want power and control. We live in a world... If you're Christian background, um, you know that we have an enemy, Lucifer, who and his minions, the demons, and the people that worship them. Yes, it's a fact. Even if you don't believe in Lucifer or the true God, there are people that do. And a lot of them help run this world. Okay? And they're very focused on power and control. Okay? So... What is the best gift for those of us who believe in the true God? What is the best gift that we ever got from the true God? You know, okay, our hair, you know, our, you know, whatever it is, our, our, you know, our attributes, our talents, this, you know, what makes us special, right? Thank you, right? We, we thank God for our gifts. But what is the best gift that each one of us as a human ever got, no matter what? Even if you're disabled, okay? Which, it's sad, you know, there's people who are born with, you know, disabilities. But what do they still have? What do we all have that's the ultimate gift? It's us. It's our personality. It's free will. It's our gift of being us. Nobody is like us. Okay? So for ladies and gentlemen out there, if you're ever going through, um, you know, breakups or, you know, you have to switch careers or, you know, whatever happens and you're feeling like, oh, you know, am I worthy? Yes, you are. Because you know what? You're unique. None of us are copies, even twins. They look the same, but they're totally different people, you know? So that's a gift that each one of us has, our individuality and our free will, you know, to use as we see fit. It wasn't that kind of the true God to give us, you know, he could have made us all the same, right? He could have been in a clone, you know, he could have just cloned us. One of those, and one, you know, again, ding, 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 right? It would have been easier, cookie cutter people. But no, he took his time and like we're all made different. And there's a lot of us. Think of all the people who are even, you know, past. 
he made those people and they all had different personalities. It's amazing, right? Okay. <laughs> so that is a wonderful gift. Okay. That we've had for since the dawn of time. Now we are at a pivotal point in our society, you know, as we are discovering the brain and how it works and how we're able to tap into it. And the people, again, the dark forces and the humans that serve them would like to compromise this gift that we are given. Okay? They do. They want power and control, not just over your bodies, right? We know of slavery. We've all read the stories, right? We live in the United States. We know black people were made slaves. We know that even in the Bible times, they were talked about indentured servantry. We know about that. Even right now today, we're slaves to a point, right? Got to pay your bills. You got to go to work. You're a slave for your boss. More or less, right? An indentured servantry type of slavery, but okay. So that's just our body, and that's a little different. Now we're reaching the point where our free will and our minds can be enslaved. Okay? I know you know that. We know this. But this is one of the ways it's being done. By EEG cloning. Taking, making a copy of your individual unique brain signature and they're going up on these websites and people random people random citizens neighbors community people people who sometimes and I'm not I'm not downing anybody but a lot of these sites are have some really people that don't have the best self control people who are addicted to drugs people who have sexual addictions you know perverts stuff like I mean I don't mean to say pervert you know but people who have problems with perversion okay they should not have access to anybody else's brain signature. They can barely control their own. <laughs> you know, no offense, but they need therapy and they need a little help. They do not need access to someone else, human being's brain signature. No. Okay? But this is a possibility. This is what is going on. And it's, it's a crime. Okay? EEG heterodyning. Mixing of two brain signals. Brain signatures and signals taking people's illegally, getting people's brain signatures, putting them on a website and allowing others to have access to broadcast into them. That's right. They can sit at their computer and they got your brain signature pulled up. So you're like a mini avatar to them. Okay. You, a live human being, and they're able to push that broadcast in courtesy of the satellite Right? That's tracked your brain signature because your brain signature, again, gives off a frequency. So it's another frequency finding, honing in doo -doo 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 -doo, on your frequency and doing what? Why well, I already told you you can do virtual sex with it. So they could electronically touch you. Um, what else does a broadcast um, do? A frequency wave? Well, I told you they can use it in brain surgery to blast away tumors. So this powerful you know, a frequency is being aimed at you. They could aim it anywhere. They could hurt you, hurt your body, you know, burn you, whatever. It's strong. What does it do when it's in your brain? Ah, here's where it gets interesting. It could hurt you. Obviously, you're, you're being a microwave beam at somebody. What happens when you put something in the microwave, a piece of meat? It cooks, right? What happens when you put on one of those frozen dinners? It's frozen solid. You put it in the microwave for five minutes. Boom, you pull it out. It's piping hot, steaming. Now imagine that aimed at your brain. Imagine somebody with maybe a drug addiction or sexual perversion or just a criminal. I don't mean to call people out, but maybe just somebody that's not right in the head. That's not right. And I don't mean right mentally. I mean right spiritually. There's a way of being spiritually sick, you know? People who do not get along with other people and do not respect the code of humanity. Imagine they have access to this and it's remote. And I don't mean to yell. It's remote and it's invisible. And they have access all from their computer. They can log into you because they illegally have gotten your brain signature. And it's on a website. And they bought it or they bought access. This is what they're doing nowadays. They buy access for these parties, they have parties on it. Yeah, like chat rooms, you know, like live gaming, you know, where they get in a gaming room and they all play a game. Well, this is like that, but guess what the game is? Your brain is their game. 
Oh, yes. 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 Now, let's me weave you a little story here. What if you're a person, you got to go to work in the morning, okay? You work, you got bills to pay, you got a life to live, right? Can't live your life until you pay your bills, can't pay your bills till you go to work. Most of us work the first shift. So, you're at home, you're going to get ready to go to sleep. Now, some people have gotten a hold of your brain signature, and they can broadcast into you, right? With the little power of their computer, aim it at you, aim their broadcast at you. Just like anything, right? The internet broadcasts this into you. The radio broadcast into your home. The TV broadcast the signal into your home. The phone, you can get on the phone with no cords and call over to China if you want. You know, wherever, anywhere across the world, UK, with a broadcast. So same thing. They use that same technology and they broadcast into you. You, your body, your environment. And that stuff comes through walls. Of course, it's a broadcast. That's how strong it is. That's why this 5G is going to be something. I don't under, I don't know if people understand how serious it is. If they're already able to do this and we're only at 2.5 uh, gigahertz, imagine we're going up to 60. 60. That's a lot of power, which is why I decided to do this video, because it is of the utmost important that people understand what this EEG cloning means and how it is being criminalized right here in our communities and right here on the general public on the general public okay people have access to this people in the communities they are given access by this technology actually comes from the top this used to be classified technology meaning only the military and the medical industry complex and the intelligence agencies and law enforcement had access to this you know Nowadays, they've let it leak. Maybe somebody in law enforcement and gave it to their friend, you know, their cousin, or maybe somebody in law enforcement has a friend who's in, in the crime syndicate. Maybe they, you know, for a price, they, they let them have access to it, you know? And this is a, you know, it's the black, it's a, it's like the sex trafficking, you know, and it's like human trafficking, it's like drugs. It's out here now, it's among us. So we have to acknowledge it. That's what I'm here for. So you know that this is what it is, and this is what it's called. EEG heterodyning, a.k.a. cloning. Now, there's a different kind of cloning, too, where you where they speak of cloning the human body, which is where you take the exact DNA from somebody and make a exact uh, replication of a human. I still think, though, I mean, we're not going to get it. I don't have, we're not going to get into that right now. Maybe I'll research it and we can get into it, but... I I'm I don't know how that works. I mean, I get replicating somebody's DNA, but then I still believe as a Christian the true God has to give that spark into that egg to make it form into the person. So, you know, no matter what, I think even if they could clone a person like anatomically, it would still be a different person, their personality. Do you know? So, you know, cuz you couldn't just clone another person. You're we're individuals. That's a different subject for a different day. But tonight we're talking about EEG heterodyning cloning and how it's used um, taking brain signatures and then um, abusing people with a broadcast, okay? All from the comfort of their own home or their drug den or wherever they're at. I don't mean to call anybody out again. Some people aren't on drugs or per, they're just spiritually wicked, okay? Those people too, okay? So those people are among us. And those people are able to reach into us when we're in our homes, anywhere in the world, anywhere that a broadcast can get into, can go through concrete, you know. Yeah, most of it, especially with 5G, it's going to be a lot stronger, you know, just to show you a picture. Boop, 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 broadcast. So just to kind of get in a, you know, I don't know, I thought this was a cool picture. You know, but you see it, you get how it fans out. It's broadcasting. That's a verb. You know, it's broadcasting the the frequency and the brain is like a giant antenna doo, 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 doo. so here's the uh, criminals <laughs> they're a couple houses down or a couple blocks down and they're on the computer and they don't got nothing to do here's you you got to go to work in the morning boop, 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 boop. <laughs> they're keeping you up all night with a microwave torture okay also too i just like to mention this um with these frequencies with EMF frequencies, okay, electromagnetic frequencies, and broadcasting them into people, there is something that was found out in the 1970s, okay, and it was called 
um, project. I only want to say this once because, again, I like living. Okay? But it's called Project Pandora. What that was... Hang on a second. I, I'm doing something right now, and I'm on the most important part. And it's funny that right now you're deciding to do that. He could be getting a signal to him telling him to do that. Not really, but you know. Boop, 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 play this right now. <laughs> Anyways, Project Pandora. What they found out back in the 70s was that they did it on monkeys. They aimed radar at a place on the monkey's brain. And they were able to make the monkeys fall asleep. Boom. I'm talking about from wake, you know, wide awake. You know, talking. and Well, monkeys don't talk. But, you know, you can imagine if it was used on a human, you know. And, um, which it was also. But I want to live. So, I mean, okay. Project Pandora. And you can put monkeys to sleep with radar if you aim it on a certain part of their brain. And I also know this. It's not really classified anymore because they do it at the hospital. Okay. Some hospitals have that. When you're going into surgery, they can help. Remember, I said they're trying to gear away from looking at treating the body as chemical only to treating it as electrical. So at the hospital, they have a frequency that they can help beam on you. And that helps keep you in unconscious. Okay. Because it hits the same part of your brain that the chemical would. Right? The sleepy part. <laughs> right. Also, they have that ability um, to, uh, like, date rape drugs. You know how they make your memory uh, erase? You know, because what happens is when chemical, again, acetylcholine, whenever you think a thought, it has to form into a memory. And the way it forms into a memory is that it needs that chemical acetylcholine. So the way date rape drugs work when you don't remember anything, right, you literally can't. That's because that drug stops the production of acetylcholine, which is the chemical you need to um, to make the thoughts into memories. Okay, so that can be done also with frequencies. Okay, so you're beginning to understand this bigger picture. You see what all this stuff can do. These frequencies can brain surgery. <laughs> These frequencies can, in, in, as a tool for a surgeon, but if criminals have it, it can uh, they can beam it on your body to hurt you beam it on your brain to hurt you. It can be used to um, dissolve memory. Oh yeah, they can. Not saying that, you know, the criminals have access maybe to that high of a functioning one, but it can be done. Okay, remotely, beam it on you. Poof, you know, like men in black. Poof, you don't remember anything. Okay, uh, what else can it be used for? It can be used to put you in a sleep state. You know, you maybe won't have to use incapacitating gases or date rape drugs. Because they it's the right person, the frequency, psh, beam it right in on you. Go to La La Land, Sleeping Beauty. There's another one called Sleeping Beauty Project. It's exactly what it sounds like. You remember Sleeping Beauty? Remember she got kissed when she was sleeping by the prince? By the prince. There's also a uh, sexual deviant uh, disease, or whatever you want to call it, sexual deviant um, practice, let's just call it practice, called Sleeping Beauty Syndrome. That's where men and women, okay, we won't just say the men, men and women like to have sex with people while they're sleeping or unconscious, okay? I don't want to say any names, but Bill Cosby, okay, but the only reason I mention this is because Bill Cosby had a lot of money, a lot of money, okay? He had Cosby Show money. That was like one of the first syndicated black shows on TV. He was making money, hunty. Okay, so why in God's green earth would he want to have sex with a sleeping body? And he could get, uh, he, come on, he could pay for a prostitute that would be wide awake. You know, probably doing backflips and, and everything else. <laughs> right? For money. You know, some, some women do that. Some men. That's their field of work, sex trade. So why was he um, drugging regular people and sleeping with them? Okay, like having sex with them while they were sleeping. What's the joy in that? I don't know. It's one of those things. Sleeping beauty syndrome. It's a fetish. So this type of technology, you're giving people like that have, you know, um, that type of thinking. If they have access to this, are you kidding me? You see what how dangerous this is. Okay, so you see why we need to talk about it more as a society. We need to, you know not, you know, this exists. It's here. It's not going anywhere. It's not, we can't take the technology back. Okay. We can't. It's not like we open them like Pandora, right? We open the box. It's open. It's here. So in order to protect ourselves, we have to acknowledge it. All right. How are we going to do that? 
EEG heterodyning slash cloning. You're going to know the name now. When you think of cloning, you're not just going to think of Dolly the sheep. Okay, you're not going to think of the anatomical cloning yet. You're going to think of this kind of cloning. Okay, you're going to understand that a brain signature can be copied and can be sold on the black market and people can then use your brain signature to broadcast into you illegally and hurt and touch you hurt you put you to sleep erase your memory you're gonna okay this is not a theory this is in practice this is a capability these frequencies are capable of doing that and the crime and the people who are doing these crimes know that so you good people you need to know that okay so you can protect yourself. How can you protect yourself if you don't know what's going on? Well, don't say I never did nothing for you because now you know. You know the name and you know what it is. Okay? And again, I put myself at risk when I when I tell you these things. It's okay, but please don't let it fall on deaf ears. Okay? This is a serious crime. And it's only going to get worse with 5G. So, there's for every problem, there's a solution. Okay? I believe in that. So, um, and it's true. For every problem, there's a solution. So what is, what's the solution here? What do you guys think? I'll tell you what I think. And I, I want to hear what you think too. If you want to make comments or not, you know, if you're like, oh, I don't want, I understand, but I don't want to draw attention. That's okay. That's okay. It's all right. I'm already in the hot seat. So, but I understand if you don't want to be, but think about it at least. Um, I think for a solution, I've thought about this. There needs to be if just a few things. Okay, one, the um, equipment that's used to facilitate these crimes, okay, is being done by using the satellites, by using the internet, the same thing, the Wi-Fi, okay. Now, every Wi-Fi, I know you guys have watched Dateline, and you know, and I know, that they can trace, right, when you make a call on your cell phone, they can trace it to what tower it pinged off of. You know, they always say that. They use that in, like, court cases and stuff. So... When these people are doing these pervert all-access hosting parties, there's a there's a record of it. They're in internet. They're on the internet highway. Just like the regular highway, I feel like we need internet police. I'm not kidding. You know, and everything is traceable. Whenever you're on the internet, you're using a device. We haven't gotten to the point yet where you can just from your head. I mean, that, I'm sure that can be done. That's a different we're not even going to just, yeah, that's coming up the pike, I'm sure. You know, there is a machine called the alter ego where the guy can um, talk to his computer without moving, without saying anything. It's called the alter ego. So anyways, that's another video for another day. But in this situation, when we're accessing the internet, we're using our device. We're using our phones or our computers or our, la or our you know, uh, tablets, you know, whatever it is, we're accessing the internet to get on it. So are these criminals. They are using the internet. Now, that can all be traced with IP addresses, which gives you the person's exact location, especially with GPS. So I think we need a cyber crime force, like not just the offshoot of a department, you know, like you go downtown to the detective and they have a, a cyber crime unit. No, mm -mm. it needs to be its own special unit because that's the crimes nowadays. They're all cyber crimes, you know, and being a... For, you know, that's what it's coming down to. That's a lot of the crimes. So we need a, just like we got the drug task force, the DEA, we need something like that for the internet, for cyber, okay, for technology, to reel it in a little bit, because it's getting out of control. Like I said, with 5G, it's just going to get worse, okay? So that's an idea, okay? Second thing, um, the people who are providing the equipment for this, that would be the FCC, Right? The Federal Communications Commission. They own, they, they are supposed to be policing those satellites. They're, you know, they're the ones in charge of communication. Right? That's what this is. This is broadcast. The media companies. They need to get on, in on this. They need to police and govern the access more. You know, if people are caught, say, for instance, you have a cyber task force and they are caught doing these crimes. Hey, you were broadcasting into, you know, Miss whatever Smith and causing her, you know, you know, we caught you broadcasting into her illegally. You were forcing in a broadcast. You were attacking her brain, attacking her body. You were doing things you had no business doing. You know, that's a crime. That's assault. So first off, that person should be charged. 
And I'm not saying lock them up, throw away the key. No, but some type of punishment, okay? And then um, moving forward, the, the, you know, maybe they could have their privileges uh, suspended or possibly blocked. You know, just like drunk driving. If And I'm not trying to be cruel. I'm not like, I understand, me of all people, I get it. You know, but the whole purpose of punishment is to correct the behavior. That's all. I'm not saying you're a horrible person and you should die. I'm just saying you've got a problem. You're doing something that's um, inappropriate in society and you need to A, take a break. You don't need internet access since you're using it as a weapon. And then B, you know, if... Maybe you, like I said, you need a break for a while. You need punishment on top of that, right? You got to go spend a little time in, in, you know, where we all got to go, you know, okay? And then you need your privileges suspended and maybe slowly given back to you because you're used, you used it as a weapon. You used it to assault people. Well, that's assault, right? Okay, there's a reason that criminals can't own guns. It's not to be... Um, I mean, that's a whole subject unto itself, but you understand the, the main purpose in that is to avoid people being hurt, you know, like not to say that the people who do crimes cannot change cause they can. Okay. And that's something to be discussed, but these are things first off FCC needs to crack down and, and govern it a little bit better, pull in the reins. And number two, we need a cyber task force as big as the drug force because these crimes are serious. And another thing, these people are making money off of our off of um, selling and buying and trading um, brain signatures. It's a mark. It's trafficking. And I'm one last thing I'll tell you. We're gonna close up here. But um, what happens is with this broadcast too. They can actually surveillance you, which means they have access. So, yeah, they can hack into your computer, hack into your phone, so then they can see you and they can hear you. Now, this can end up leading to in-person assaults. I'm going to tell you how. because And this happens with newscasters, female newscasters. This, this I've known for a while. I used to want to get into broadcasting. Um, go figure. <laughs> and now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> Started from the bottom and still in the bottom. <laughs> it's okay. Forget about it. It's okay. I'm fine. God loves me. We're good. And, you know, I can still deliver a message, an important message. But, um, oh my goodness, lost my train of thought. It's late and I have to be up in a few hours. But what was I going to say? It was important. It was about broadcasting. Oh, okay. How when people are harassing you remotely. You think, okay, no big deal. They're just going to broadcast into me and, you know, zap me a little bit or play with me, you know, but they're never, you know, touch me in person. Well, here's what happens. Like with female broadcasters, they are the number one most stalked people in, you know, in, in the United States, I read, you know, because their faces, they're being seen a lot by an audience. So what happens is the audience feels like they get to know them, just like female actresses and stuff, and male actors too, you know, and male broadcasters, but it's a higher amount with females for some, whatever reason. Um, but when people keep seeing your face, they feel like they are knowing you, right? And they want it. Some people get like a obsessive, um, you know, they want to get to know you more. Okay. And with regular people, okay, maybe you, you, they'll reach out to you and you're like, whoa, but in this situation, remember, this is a criminal to start with. They illegally have your information, okay? And with these broadcasts, they can also, you know, there's websites where they have voyeurism. They'll have cameras set up in people's bathrooms and stuff. And they have a whole website and a whole people who pay to have access to look at that kind of stuff. Yeah, unknowing people. They have cameras in your in your bathroom and they're watching you and they have fetishes they're watching you shower they're watching you go to the bathroom they're watching you you know get ready they're watching you without you knowing them knowing that they're watching you okay so in this situation when these people have you on um a website your your brain signature they're putting you at risk because these people that are looking at you and having access to you they could get a hankering to want to meet you in person and if they're already perverted over the computer, what do you think they're going to want to do in person? Come say hi? 
hi, I bought you, I legally purchased your information off of a website for, um, you know, for, for, for sex stimulation. And, and now I'd like to meet you in person, please. What? First of all, you know, in, in your thinking, imagine this was happening. I didn't get, I never gave permission for that. I, this is illegal. And you know, that could lead up to an in-person assault and or murder because these people are already unstable to do something like that. So the solution because these crimes are only going to go up. They're easy to do because the technology is powerful and invisible. Like right now, we got the broadcast going. If it's nighttime where you're at, the electricity's running. You can't see the current, but you know it's running because everything, the lights are on. Same thing with this. This broadcast is constantly going. We're living in an environment of it, and it's invisible, and it's powerful. And people are now learning to harness into it and to harass and assault other people with it remotely. Okay, so this is a problem that needs to be addressed as soon as possible by our legislation, by our lawmakers, and it needs to go straight to the top because this is of dire importance. And I fear when 5G is coming, it's only going to intensify. So we're going to do our best to uh, address this. Yes? Okay. You guys heard it from me, EEG heterodyning slash cloning, taking a digital picture of your brain signature and selling it on the black market to be used to assault you with a broadcast. A broadcast very much the same one used to broadcast internet, used to broadcast radio, used to broadcast TV, used to broadcast cellular. Those same channels are what they are using illegally. Okay. Thank you guys. You've been a great audience. I um, I hope you learned a lot. Free and valuable information. I hope you come again. I'll be doing another video um, this time on uh, technology. Not sure quite what yet, but it'll be something and I'll do my research and I'll, I'll have all that information ready for you. I release videos every Saturday. So uh, appreciate you taking a look at my taking a look at my video and listening to me here. And I hope you have a good day, good night. And I hope life is good to you, right? I really do. So do your research. I could just be talking, but I'm not. But do your own research, okay, to back up what I'm saying. And remember that God loves us all, okay? We each have our own little private brain signature. That's how wonderful we're made. You know, we're individuals. So no matter what, nobody can ever be you. Or you, or you, or me. We're all different. That's the gift. So let us not let anyone take that from us. All right? Thank you, guys. God loves us. Have a good one. Bye.